here's a great way to guide new users through an onboarding experience that allows them to be able to update um, based off of exactly what you want them to do. So let's see how this works. So what we've got here is just an overlay that goes right over the top of uh, GHL. Now what I didn't do for this example is uh, we have a toggle button and you can turn off all of the menu buttons over here. It'll blur them out until the user has completed the onboarding. That's very useful. So first here, first step, okay, we just dropped a video explaining what's gonna go on. Now, instead of telling somebody how to change their password, why don't we just take them directly to where they can change their password, which is their profile page. Same thing with edit business information. It takes them directly to that. So now the last step in this onboarding is we want them to go through here and we want them then to book a demo call. So what we have is we have a window, it embeds the GHL calendar, and then boom, it's just very simply onboarding. So how does this work? So inside of uh, our tools, what we've got here is several different onboarding experiences. And I'm gonna go ahead and unpublish this one, and I'm gonna turn this one on just to show you how it works. So I'm gonna go to setup, and here you can create the steps, right? So we wanna drop in setup, create opens up where what you see is what you get editor, and then you can drop in your video, your description, anything that you want. The, the steps of taking people within the sub account is done here. Add your logo, right? The action here, edit business logo. Connect your email, email two-way sync. So these are actions that take them directly to that location settings. Grab your API key, same thing. Connect your Zoom, there you go. So now, what if you wanna add another step? So we're just gonna go ahead and copy one of the previous ones. We're gonna name this new step, and we're just gonna call it test for the description. So now, what things get pretty fun. So these are, all of these actions can be done by the user, predefined by you. So if you wanna take them over to conversations, click that, and as soon as the user then clicks go to conversations, they're gonna go directly to that. Um, it's a super handy tool. Um, so if you guys have any questions, glad to show you how we did it.